back then here at JGE, I'm trying to go as low as possible. In the voiceover, me and Ty, Ty's gonna give me his advice on what he would have done differently because he knows his way around this golf course a lot better than me and he honestly makes better decisions than me. So we're gonna let me swing free and then Ty's gonna tell us what he would do. I love you hitting driver here, even though it's kind of tight and it's only 400 yards, but I mean, you get it down there far enough anyway so you'll have a good look. Well, I skied it, but it's fine. 155 yards here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm gonna put it in. I don't like that mindset. <laughs> yeah, terrible mindset. Why am I tugging everything? Sure, the bunker. I mean, whether you're trying to miss there or not, it was a good place to miss. Iron, yeah, I'll take it. Just the only problem is it leaves me with the chip, which I'm not great at. But great club selection here, because you have green to work with, so you can definitely just keep the ball down on the ground. Um, would you have taken a wedge here? Or? I, I, I would go 54 degree all day. And I would air short to give myself an uphill putt versus this kind of tickler that you gave yourself here. Totally, that was scary. But, I mean, That's great, but you accept the bogey and you just, yeah. like, you know, made a stress-free bogey versus trying to make the par then fighting for double. Or so what I didn't stuff. like was you didn't look at the hole from the bottom side on one that's that downhill. But what I love was that you weren't super aggressive and you just got the pace right. So you eliminated the double. Because yeah. I, I never double looked the hole. <laughs> I know my short game is weak. So in that situation, I pull out an iron. Yeah. A little bump and run. Mm -hmm. Again, I like the club selection such a good strike yeah it took you know driver puts me in that bunker half the time 160 so. yards with Pretty helping short. wind is a perfect nine iron so that's what I'm okay going. so ball above your feet and you're trying to hit a cut like I remember filming this just thinking this ball's going right yeah see I honestly didn't know that really yeah and that's where you beat me mm -hmm. well, you know it's these the uphill lie there you go you just said uphill lie so well, went upstairs with it <laughs> I don't know if that I, was... Again, though, you know what? You got it on the green, though, mm -hmm. right? Well, that putt almost changed. Exactly, and Great that's what pot. happens when you just get the ball on the green versus like trying to put it to two feet, then you leave it short, and then you're chipping again. Definitely. Driver's that's kind fine. of mandatory on this hole. 149 yards here. I'm going a semi soft nine iron. This would. Okay, this one was uphill. A mm -hmm. lie. Worked out though. I don't even know how like different types of lies when I'm hitting irons even affect the ball and you, that's the type of stuff that you actually know. Mm -hmm. And like it all depends if there's like enough grass Ow! behind the ball where you think you're still gonna get through it cleanly though it's probably gonna come up with less spin and go further. Okay. 153 yards I'm trying to get a nine iron there. After seeing ties I don't know if I can. That was just a little bit of a shank. What are you doing? And even you saying like you didn't know if you could get it there. Probably a different club would have helped you get more near the green. But that's a yeah. filthy oh freaking shot. I mean, that... The camera yeah, doesn't really do that justice, shot. actually. No. Yeah, it doesn't... Oh. Okay. Okay, the camera did that justice, so... <laughs> oh my, I almost missed that, too. Yeah. If we could combine my long, you know, my long irons driver with your short game, that's, that's where I'd like to get. So I need to learn from you a lot on the, the short game mm -hmm. stuff. I'm going to be reasonably aggressive here, go with the hybrid, leave myself maybe 100 in, 120. Uh, I got to steer clear this drive went of the water, way. so I'm going to fade it off it. Ooh. I'm really cutting it today. Obviously just trying to stay away from the water there, but mm -hmm. I've had perfect. drives near the water before, so yeah. I, I was so far back. That water. Okay, I got a good lie here in the left rough, I'm going 54 degree, I got 121 yards. Back pin, so I'm okay if it goes. I like it. You thought that thought, thought that shot through. I probably have been listening to you this round because I quite often don't think those through. Oh yeah, that's fine. And I think we were talking about this earlier. Like, I have a decent swing. It's mostly my mindset, yep. and then a few just decisions knowledge things that yeah. I don't know. I want you to be more aggressive oh, on those putts in general. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, this round was probably a month or two ago, so mm -hmm. I think I've been a little bit better at trying to get it there or past the hole. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I lose a lot of strokes just not getting into the hole. At least I got around that. So Graham's gonna go upstairs with it. I think the route to take is hitting a low bump out that way, even missing the green, but. He's not doing that. Yeah, I'm always working. through that little gap up there, all right? 58 degrees. It actually almost worked. 
I think that tee shot happened because you cut, you come out of it when you go soft and then it just goes weak and left. Yes, yes. Actually, you've been mentioning that lately too, and I it's it messes me up every <laughs> time when I try to take some off the driver. Yeah. I can take out some off other clubs, but no driver, I just end up slicing it off the planet. Wow, you made the three footer. Look at me. Got the bogey. Oh, I got the slices today, hey? Because you're not swinging through it like you normally do. You're yeah, just guiding a, it, you know? It's a scary hole. It's fine. All right, 211 to the pin. I'm going to be a bit of an idiot and go at it with a four iron. I'm going to punch it so it cuts a little bit. I'm sure you're going to critique me, but watch. It's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. I don't need to say nothing here. Where did that go? In the creek. Oh, great. Yeah, not the play I would have done. Okay, well, I know I'm about to get roasted for that last uh, decision, but... We're going with a 54 degree here from 84 yards. Just taking the scenic route, a little red ball action. Yeah, where'd that come from? I think I made up that yardage too. <laughs> I can't see red ball, so I'll make Great shot. Uh, yeah, it landed up on that slope. Oh, the there it is. I don't know if you meant to do it, but I all I wanted you to do was aim right at the middle of the green to hopefully catch that slope yeah, down to the gap. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Exactly what you're aiming for, right? I was. <laughs> oh, get it. Buckets. Oh. <laughs> That would have been one of the greatest bogeys I've ever seen. Uh, I'm going to pull out the hole. Who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? You're on limited. that bowling club. You got to Google that if you haven't. Okay. Who do you think you are? I am. 171. I'm muscling it there with an 8-iron. <laughs> it just dumbfounded. I hope that's in the bunker. I think so. Okay, it was. I like the club selection. With the 8-iron? Yeah. And, I mean, wow. That was a filthy little bunker shot, too. Get it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Let it hang. <laughs> Dude, you're unlimited. <laughs> We're talking about that Russell Wilson glove. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you do it, son. I told you it was a good shot out of the bunker. <laughs> you got me speechless. Yeah, that par three master class there. I'm gonna show you guys how to play this par five. <laughs> show us how to play this par five, eh? Did I go bunker? I don't know. I think we both did. Good start. Same, uh, same situation as you. I hope it's not in the bunker. Yeah. All right, I caught the sand. <laughs> got it down there with a four iron. I, you know. Oh. Looking at that, I knew it was gonna hit the lip. Yeah, four iron trying to get out of that. Yeah, I mean, I again, just seven iron to the fat part. That was a bad idea. Wow. 214 to the pin. I got hybrid. I'm putting it on. Green red. Now, Let's this go. is where you excel as a golfer. No one can do this. This is well, so not good. No one, but... Just what? Hitting a, a long shot onto just, the green? Dude, you, you put it closer with your hybrid than you do a nine iron. Or a, or a wedge. Yeah. Little hybrid from 220. Well, Graham hit an unreal shot in there with his <coughs> hybrid. I'm choking on a mosquito right now. <coughs> I was holding that you in. You made birdie. That's still an unreal par. Thank you. Little sandy bird. Yeah, not, not a great score on the round, but. No. But I do think, like, just a couple things, if you changed, like, You'd save three shots on yeah, that Yeah, I round. think if you were out there as my caddy that round, yeah. you would have been like, whoa, don't do that. Yeah. And you probably would have saved me a few strokes. Do you guys think we should do that as a video idea where I caddy for Graham? Even though we have pretty much the same handicap, but we definitely excel in di different areas. Do you think, is that a video you guys would like to watch? If, uh, if so, let us know in the comments. I think I'll definitely say yes. Like, I think that would be, I th honestly think you could drop my score by five shots around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On average. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys.